guys, welcome to my channel. The show starring your girl. Y'all look busted as beep. I just finished working out, y'all. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, before I hop into this video, make sure you guys go follow me on all my social media. You can find me at She Wants Stormy on Instagram and Snapchat. Follow your girl, show me some love, and yeah. So, I haven't been on in a week, y'all. My schedule has been jam packed crazy, okay? Crazy. From working out to work, meal prepping, all this stuff. I just haven't had no time so I wanted to make this video to let you guys know if you're on a journey to being a healthier you or whatever the case may be cut yourself a break okay just cut yourself a break life happens and if you are a compulsive or an addicted eater I don't know if that's how you if you're a person who's addicted to food or an emotional eater during the process of getting healthy you're going to have times where your emotional state heights or declines or whatever the case may be. You're going to, you're going through a roller coaster, not only because you're losing weight or you're trying to get healthier, but also because life happens and life throws us curveballs all the time. So you are going to face some type of difficulty. Last week I cheated on my diet. I wanted to get a Kit Kat. I was like, I'm going to get a Kit Kat. It's Monday. I weighed in. I lost four pounds. By the way, here's the picture. Yay! Um, I was like, I'm going to just have a Kit Kat. And I went to the store to get a Kit, Kat, a Kit Kat. And they only had a king size Kit Kat. So I was like, okay, I'll get the Kit Kat. But I'm only going to eat the eat the regular four size. The four squares. And then, yeah, save the other four for somebody else. I sat there watching TV, just eating. Eating. Ate all eight of the slices of Kit Kat, which is my favorite candy, by the way. And they're 210 calories per square. So per, not square, per rectangle. Each little bar is 210 calories. So I calculated that I had 1,600, more than 1,600 calories in one Kit Kat bar. And for a second, I just cried. How can I be so addicted to food that it controls my life and I sit there and I eat a whole Kit Kat that's for two people or for how many ever people and I can't control myself, you know, and it made me like really sad. And then this weekend I was having a horrible weekend and I went out and I um, got Hooters wings. I was like, you know what? I just want wings. I don't want to know the consequences. No, I don't want the naked. I want the breaded wings. I'm about to tear these up in peace. And I'm just going to tear them up. And I did. Y'all. Just remember everything is a process. You can get off track a little bit. But as long as you find yourself. So, weigh in this week. I lost 3.5. Eight pounds so I'm total down 7.6 pounds 7.6 pounds in two weeks I feel better I feel lighter I look better this area feels like oh, I can breathe better um, of course you're gonna beat yourself up a little bit because you're like oh I thought I was gonna be 10 pounds down I thought I was gonna be are you 20 pounds down I thought I was gonna be here there whatever the case may be but slow and steady sometimes is the way to go. So you know what? I'm just thankful for the small victories because small victories equals big wins, right? So going into week three, I'm praying that I will be in the, I'm praying I will be down 11 pounds uh, total by the end of week three. I told you this guy's a 20 pound challenge. So I have six weeks to lose 20 pounds. So as long as I stay with the diet, stay with the program, and keep making these workouts, I should be fine. I do want to apologize, y'all, about me not making a video. Uh, this week, I'm praying I can get more content out. 
I have reoccurring coming up for my job where I have to go retest as a flight attendant and make sure that I can um, keep up, still know all the certifications and tests and answers and safety procedures um, in case something happens. So this is a really big time for me. Obviously, if I don't pass, I lose my job. So I'm just trying to focus on that along with eating healthy and working out and meal prepping and um, mentally trying to be in a better space. Every day is a battle for me mentally. Um, but I'm thankful that I've been able to put my energy into something positive. And although it's not easy every day, sometimes I just want to sit down and eat. I'm sorry. Sometimes I just want to sit down and eat something fattening or not healthy. And I just want to cry or drink alcohol with my friends. And I get emotional because I can't do the things that I used to do to cope with the things that I'm going through. And so now I'm just focusing on my health. And I'm praying that when I get to a healthy physical state, I'll be able to try to be a mom again and maybe not lose my child due to maybe health purposes. I don't know if my weight or my poor diet has something to do with it. I'm not superly obese, no, but you never know. The processed foods that I was eating could have contributed to um, something going wrong. So I just want to make sure that I'm getting as healthy as I can for myself and for my future. So that's what I'm doing, you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this really short video. I'm going to try my hardest to squeeze out some more content this week. I know I'm not obligated to do these things, but this is something that I'm passionate about. I'm so passionate about YouTube. I always have been from the day that I, I don't even know I love to be emotional. Last emotional evening. From the day that I started YouTube, I, I fell in love with being on YouTube. And this is really one of my big passions that I haven't been able to give the energy that it deserves and the attention that it deserves because of all the chaoticness that's going on in my life. And it frustrates me because I'm such a disciplined person and in the past I was so I was able to be so much more disciplined than I am now that I beat myself up like why can't I do this or get this done or do this or why today I just want to lay in the bed I don't want to do anything I don't want to work I don't want to work on my craft I don't want to just soaking in this negative space it has been a long year and a half for me guys like a really long year and a half and i know we all go through trials and tribulations so this is not a pity party and this definitely is not me asking for sympathy i'm just saying it has been a really long year and a half and i'm still getting to know who i am and the things that i go through why am i going through these things um With all that being said, I'm happy about my progress this week. I hope you guys can tell. Ah! Check your girl out. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you're not Bye. I like my girl just like I like my honey. Sweet little self.